Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating some designs with glitter. I have already dipped my nails. I'll show you what I used. On my thumb, middle finger, and ring and pinky, I have Vivid Glam Co's Mystic, which is a beautiful shimmery purple color. And on my pointer and my ring fingers, I have Buff by Cascade Color Works, which unfortunately, as I've mentioned in other videos, they are no longer in business. Um, but I do like this base, and you'll see what I'm going to do on those nails and why I decided to choose this over the purple that is on my other nails. For the glitter, I'm going to also be using Vivid Glam Co. This is Divine. So these two colors came in a duo set, Mystic and Divine. I'll open this up so you can see it. It's really pretty purples with some gold and um, lavender, dark purple, chunky, medium fine glitters in it. So I thought that would be pretty to use with this as well. And this is going to be Valentine's Day Manny and you'll see why. Okay, so I'm going to be using this eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. I've used this in other videos in the past. I'm going to be doing an ombre glitter, but I'm going to start at the tip and ombre it down the nail towards the cuticle stopping about um, not even halfway, just so the glitters can kind of like fall down towards the cuticle there. So let me take, that's not the right color. <laughs> let me take the glitter here and I'm going to be using my Manny Boss Dip Base Coat. And I've already activated these nails already, so that's already done. I'm going to start with my index finger and put a layer of the dip base there. I'm just going to put that into my cupcake liner and just pick up some of these glitters and just let them fall onto the tip of the nail. I like using a neutral base when I do this because sometimes when you have a colored base, it kind of, to me, is a little too much and I'm just trying to go for something a little subtle on these nails. But you can do it however you prefer. I'm just going to go in and place this glitter down because I see it's kind of sticking up a little bit. Okay, so that's the first sprinkle on. I might... Take some of these and move them up a little bit. Okay. And now because I put the activator down before I did the glitter, it's kind of drying the base coat up a little faster. That's okay because I can just put a little bit more on in those spots so we can get some more glitter on. base and grab some glitters for placing on here. Of course they don't want to come. There we go. Place another one like down here. Okay. And I do have this time, because I mentioned it in the video where I did the vertical ombre, a bag. So I just cut it in half because I'm going to be using the other half for something else in this design. So I'm just going to tap down those glitters using the bag and that flattens them out and adheres them better to the dip base. That way I'm not gunking up my finger. And I already have this hand dipped as well. Um, I just needed some time for my phone to charge in between doing this part of it and the design and glitter portion of it, which is what I wanted to film. So I decided to just dip this hand and activate it so that was done. 
Um, so that'll save me time after this video when I'm doing that hand. Okay, so that looks good. I like the way the index finger looks. So I'm gonna go in and add some base coat to the ring finger. Put that back in my cupcake liner. Just repeat the process on this nail. like that this glitter because to me it looks almost regal or royal and with the purple it looks like I don't know kind of like royalty like a royal purple theme which is kind of cool sometimes I think I can grab stuff without putting more base on it but Sometimes it doesn't want to happen, so I just got to grab a little more. Oh, no, I don't want that big piece. Up so high. Okay. And again, I'm going to go in with my baggie and just, oops, <laughs> tap that down a little bit. Some of the glitter will come off onto the baggie. It's just the nature of it. Um, but not too much, as you can see. There's not many glitters on there, just some little fine ones. Okay. So let me just grab another little bit here of the base. I think I'm happy with the way both of those look. Okay, so that's all done. I got the ombre effect that I wanted on these two fingers. Now I'm going to do the design portion on the middle finger that I was talking about. Okay, so my original plan didn't work. I did it, I filmed it, and I'm cutting that portion out because the heart just looked like a big blob in the center of my middle finger. Um, the heart that I was going to do. Um, I was going to like do a, a glitter heart in the middle and then uh, like around it, I kind of outlined it in gold. But then when I was taking the pictures, uh, you could not tell that it was a heart. Um, in person, it looked like a heart, but it just wasn't picking up a heart like on the camera, which to me annoyed me. So instead, I'm going to go in with this white gel liner. I'm going to dab some onto this little baggie in front of me here. And I'm gonna do those little tiny hearts that people do with the dotting tools. So let me just get a little more. And then I'm actually going to cure each nail as I'm going because I don't wanna mess it up if it comes out nicely. And the nice thing about this is that you can wipe it off and redo it if it's something that you don't like or you're not happy with. Um, so here I have this little little tiny dotting tool. So I'm going to use this side of it and just pick up some of that white liner. And on this side, I'm going to try and attempt to do three hearts down the side here if it'll fit. So the first one I'm gonna do is going to be here closer up to the cuticle. And I'm actually going to use my little stick here to join the two parts of the heart together. And we'll see how that looks. Oh, it's a little longer than I like. So 
I think I'm actually gonna wipe this off. So this is good, I'll show you. So I just have this lint-free wipe here. Wiped right off, like it was never there. That's okay, this is trial and error. Let me try this again. Take a little bit of the white onto my tool. Let's do dot, dot. Put that down, grab my stick here. And then ever so gently and small, <laughs> bring down that other part here. Oh, and my hand shook. <laughs> Try that again, wipe it off. Sometimes you have to wipe off your dotting tool too because it gets a little too much paint on it. I'm gonna do this again. Take that. Lord help me when I do my other hand. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna do that off camera. So if it takes a little while, it takes a little while. I'm actually gonna try to use this to connect it because maybe that'll help me. I've seen people do it both ways. They've used either, oh, I'm actually kind of happy with that. It's not, it's in focus. there we go, okay, it's in focus. Um, I've seen people use the orange stick and I've seen people use their dotting tool to just connect the two parts together. So I think the next heart, I'm gonna try and do a little further over this way. So they're kind of staggered, so they'll fit a little bit better. So if you go in here, dot, dot, and bring them together. Okay, so that's two. Don't know if I can fit a third one in there. Let me see. Maybe I can redo that. You know what I didn't do? I didn't cure that first heart like I said I was gonna. <laughs> that's okay, let me do that now. Okay, so that's now cured down. So if I have to wipe that other one off again, it won't mess it up. Okay, next. So what I did was after I did that heart that I was going to do on the middle that I didn't like, I removed that uh, by filing because it was just the heart that I wanted to get rid of. And then I re-dipped into Mystic, which is the purple that I have on my thumb, middle, and ring finger. And then I just filed it down and uh, reshaped it a little bit and that's all I had to do. So let me try and get a little bit closer here so I can fit that third heart. Okay, that was a little bit longer <laughs> than the other one. Let me try that again. And still be careful when you're wiping because even though if you cured the one that's near it, sometimes it could still get messed up a little bit. It shouldn't, but it could. Okay. Third time's a charm here. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Ah, ha, ha. that's better. Okay, I feel like I make that sound a lot when something goes my way. I, I realized I did it on my last video. <laughs> nope, don't like that either. Ay, okay, just one little tiny movement and it messes the whole heart up, I feel. I should have just kept it on the first one and then I just would have had two hearts on it, but that's okay. Maybe I will do that. I'm just gonna do two. Cause I don't wanna keep fussing with it and then redoing it and redoing it. It's like really a fine line of what works and what doesn't sometimes depending on the design <laughs> here we go maybe if I put my hand on this to steady it nope because I have to flip it the other way so that's not gonna work okay 
if I lean my hand on my little lamp, <laughs> it'll help. It's not even that I'm moving, it's just the shape of it that I'm not happy with. But let's see what happens now. All right, this is what we're gonna leave it as. They don't look identical, but that's okay because just like snowflakes, all hearts are created differently and not created equal. So I'm going to cure that again for 30 seconds. Okay, so now that that is all set, I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't get any of this white paint on myself in places I do not want to have it. <laughs> and then I am going to go in with my Manny Boss base, gel base coat and cover this up. Another reason why you want to cure in between each part of your art design if you're using gel liners is so that when you do your top coat or your base gel, whatever you end up using, you don't smear that design because that can happen too if you don't cure it. So I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, now that that's all set up with the base gel, I'm gonna go in with my Cascade Colorworks Hema Free Gel Top Coat and put a layer of that on. I have, just so you guys know, oh geez, I just dripped some stuff onto my nail. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I have some more uh, Valentine's Day manis planned out. I have actually two more that'll get me to Valentine's Day. And then I have a Mardi Gras mani planned out, which will probably be on until the 20th or the 21st, but I'll do a video on that um, mani. And then in between, I'm gonna do like a couple of maybe unboxings, some swatching. I have a video I wanna do that um, kind of runs through all the tools that I use, uh, not the dips, but like everything else that I use to do my manis. Um, so I'll be doing that as well. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that content coming up in the next few weeks. I'm just gonna do this for another 30 seconds. Okay, so there it is. Nice and smooth and shiny and protected. So now that I did like this way, I'm really happy with how it came out. I was not loving the other <laughs> uh, heart that I did. And maybe at the end here, if I'm not too embarrassed, I'll post a picture of it. Um, it actually wasn't that bad. Like I said, it looked like a heart in person, but just when I was taking the pictures of it and rewatching the video, it just wasn't giving heart to me. It was giving glitter blob. So <laughs> I just wanted to fix that up for you guys. I'm going to uh, put some cuticle oil on, take my nail fees, post them at the end here. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I post more content. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.